Good afternoon, Covidius Britannicus. I thought as lockdown's pretty much going to be gone soon, I'd have a bit of a change of facial scenery. No fuzz, it's gone. And you can see the weight I must have put on during lockdown. Anyway, that much aside, British Covidians, I have breaking and good news for you all let me show you first and then i'll tell you i think you probably already know what i'm gonna show yeah isn't it brilliant isn't that just brilliant yeah they're reopening you'll be able to get a drink oh isn't that so good don't you feel so pleased yeah They'll be opening on the 4th of July. The 4th of July, is that not a very important date in the American calendar? Sure is, sure is. The 4th of July, I'm going to be back, said Aileen Warnos, I believe, serial killer. Like on Independence Day. God dang it, you bricks are even and opening up on the 4th. 4th of July. Well, God bless you and have a beer on me. Where the uh, the virus, the coronavirus is like totally out of control. But hey, if you turned up to watch President Trump, well, well done to all of you. But I, I, I don't think that uh, people were even being let in because the, the snowflakes were standing in front of the metal detectors. Well, isn't that good news, Britons? Are you not pleased? Are you not pleased on the day in which the stars and stripes, the star-spangled banner, the so many states of the Union, uh, is it 52 or 53? Because I always wonder if I should include Great Britain or the United Kingdom. We're not really that united and we're not that great either. But we are a... No, we're really another American state, aren't we? Yeah. I mean, America calls us. Um, Britain is America's land-based carrier. Yeah. We're going to do everything like them now, for crying out loud. Not only will we be eating their chlorinated chicken, probably in our freshly opened pubs. Yeah. <laughs> we got pretty much the same attitude to the virus as them. Uh, it's going to be great. I just, just love it when you reopen the pubs. Let's go through a few others, shall we? Um, I think it was this woman here. Yeah. Thinks that, um, well, you know, it was great that some student nurses helped out and whatever, but I'm not really going to pay them now. They're not qualified enough and certainly not going to pay them for the work that they did. Probably just going to increase the charges uh, for the rest of their training. That's fine. Oh, here he is, the man himself on the BBC giving the great news. Uh, vital changes enable the next stage of our plan to ease the lockdown, says the BBC. PM Johnson has announced plans to reduce the two metre social distancing rule in England to one metre plus. What's this we're supposed to get of? Uh, get hold of one metre plus a mask in your spoons or your local pub. Great. Absolutely great. I mean, this is really going to be great, isn't it? Are, are you just going to um, just watch the fights break out? And, and are you going to register your details with your local boozer? Yeah. So that, under this man's plan, with registered details at boozers, yeah, they can come and trace your contacts when you've infected loads of other people. And don't forget at the moment there are spikes. Yeah, Germany's R rates going up again. Germany didn't do too bad actually, only about 9,000 people dead. Britain, depending on how you look at it, has either around 42 getting on for 43,000 a huge slice of which will be people in care homes dead. Or if you sort of, well, in fact, if you do include the care homes, let's get, get this right, you've got something like 62 plus thousand people dead. 
in like what the first half of this year yeah 62,000 people dead spikes second waves but dear old Johnson I'm sure he's following the science and I'm absolutely sure he is getting Britain back to work again and that's absolutely vital yeah well actually I think he's just helping to make rich people even richer and sod you yeah there's another one that final insult I said coronavirus crisis this was according to the mirror the final insult thousands of student nurses put their lives on the line during the pandemic but now the Tory health minister tells them they're not providing uh, they're, they're not providing a service. Now the Tory health minister tells them they're not providing a service. My son was a student nurse. I expect he still knows quite a few student nurses. Yet they're not providing a service. What a foul person. Absolutely foul, aren't they? Yeah. Right, let's have a look and see what else we can find. Um, plenty of stuff going on, as always. Yeah. Remember, it said that uh, when we lost the general election, particularly the first of the two, yeah, people in our own Labour Party actually campaigned and plotted against this man. And when we were something like just below 3,000 vote short shy of a win they lost us the election yeah you absolute traitors within the labor party you hypocrites i was putting all that work in so was everybody else yeah and what do you do you lose us the election by what you do to this great man yeah, that was absolutely appalling. Now, talking about real racism, Burnley Football Club, you saw it, just so that we can carry on with this. So somebody wastes £600 on flying plane advertising, uh, advertising their own stupidity over a stadium while players are taking the knee for Black Lives Matter. Yeah, while they take the knee for Black Lives Matter, this guy, whoever he was, I think we find out later, flies this above Burnley. What a horrible person. Yeah, what a horrible person. But it goes to show you that dear old racism, alive and well in the UK. South Korea, as I talked about earlier. Oh, and this is happening a lot now. Now that schools are kind of going back, they're having to be closed, cleaned, and probably people quarantined and whatever because outbreaks in schools. Do you honestly trust the Tories with anything? Yeah. Ah, oh, boy, even Sir David Attenborough, it says uh, in the FT Financial Times, David Attenborough has set up an alternative to the government's scientific group on emergencies. Uh, he's said to have sidelined advice from their own body. This That quite clearly says that it's, uh, it's too soon to reduce the distance from two metres to one metre. For crying, you know, old David Attenborough, for crying out loud. Chris Whitty, again, Chief Medical Officer, said this month the two-metre rule was going to carry on really for as long as the pandemic continues. Well, not until billionaires start begging for people going back to work so that their corporate profits and their shareholdings can go through the roof and that the FT won't crash. Yep. Oh, my God gosh yep so that's just a quick roundup yep quick roundup and what it actually indicates to me is that honestly and i've said this in other videos and i'll say it again now as the huge economic crash now 
looms. As the world will go into an economic depression, probably worse than the Great Depression in the 1930s, all kinds of political systems will be flirted with. A major contender in this country, because effectively it's already there, a major contender in the next, the following years, maybe even just the following months, is fascism. Right-wing government by one powerful person. Fascism funded by the elite, spread out amongst the elite, but again with one central ruling figure who will promise to control everything, who will promise to end hunger, unemployment, poverty, people who are not housed, homelessness, one strong leader will promise to end all of this. One strong leader will promise to get Britain great again and through the depression and defend you all and that strong leader will undoubtedly be a fascist they will, well, they're already there in the shape of Boris Johnson, but I just see what will actually happen. The, the Tory party will keep the name Tory party, yeah, but it will become the equivalent of a fascist party. A fascist party ruling by deceit, fear, the um, you know the the counting on prejudice, the uh, the you know the extension of using people for scapegoats depending on race, creed, color, religion, sexuality, the fascist party who will always and it always happens this way. Fascists serve the um, interests of corporations and elites just like Hitler did the interests of Siemens, BMW, and, you know, even IG Farben, IG Farben, if you say it in German, okay? But this is what is going to happen. I absolutely promise you. Don't know about RFID chips under the skin and all that bull. N I, I don't know. But I promise you two things, right? Those of us in my position and the weak and the poor are going to be hit massively hard by this global depression, yeah, worse than the 1930s. And out of that, already taking hold now, will spring the rise of fascism. And I honestly don't think it will be long before that gets totally militarised. You are completely and utterly controlled by your fascist state, by your fascist leader, and those who are not necessary, yeah, including the likes of me, the sick, the old and the disabled, will be quickly and efficiently disappeared. You have to fight back. You just have to. You have to rouse yourselves and fight back. Otherwise, this country is in the initial stages of what happened in Nazi Germany. Take care. Stay strong. Fight back.